Now, 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 heavy, now, heavy, now, heavy, now, everybody now, sing that. <coughs> Did you forget? It's vlog. Happy Christmas. Y'all have to tell y'all this. Oh, oh. I gotta tell y'all this while it's fresh and hot because um somebody needs to stop these hairstylists. These hairstylists, some of these nail techs, all of these people who are entitled to believe that they can really break people's bank for no reason. Like, can we go back to the days where you, it's routine, you walk in the salon, get your, whatever. Not even gonna go into it. But, y'all, I have been looking for somebody who could do a sew-in on my locks for a very long time. Since I got them, really, because as I told y'all when I first was going to get these, oh, you know, I see people who get sewings on locks but it's rare to find somebody to do it because it's hard it's a skill it's a skill you gotta be able to lay the locks down anyway so um i'm trying to get this as quick as possible really quick um so i finally found this girl in my area and she advertised that she could do them on locks like i mean y'all i'm not gonna expose this girl's page because you know all the irritation aside I don't know, I just don't feel like So hear me out. I'm looking for somebody to do it. Her page says that she can do it, she's advertising. Like, it's not like blatantly advertised, but she has a couple clients that, and basically she's like, um, locks wear, like, she showed up before of their locks, and after, some girls with locks even longer than mine. So I'm like, I DM her, let me pull up the messages. I'll just put the messages on the screen. So I DM her, I said, my name is Taylor. I said, I love your work. I saw that you did a sewing um, on a client with locks. I've been looking for someone who can do this for a while now. I was wondering if you had any openings next week. I saw that you had a holiday special for sewing. Um, oh, I messed up. For sewing with bundles. I used a little talk to text, that's why I messed up. But anyway, yeah, that's clearly stating that I have locks and that I want somebody who can do a sewing over locks. Now, if I'm in the wrong and that wasn't clearly portrayed, y'all can go ahead and rip and run me through the comments. But I'm pretty sure that was that was easily portrayed through the messages. So, um, yeah, like, she had a couple clients. She did them with locks, whatever. Mind you, disclaimer, she's one of those pages, you can tell she probably do hair at her house, nothing wrong with that. Um, she does hair at her house, I can tell. And on top of that, she doesn't have any policies listed. She doesn't have a style seat. Like she just says DM to book. So I DM to book. I don't, D if someone clearly says no DMs, I'm not gonna DM you to book. So I don't even really like DMing to book. So she said, I can do that. How does next Wednesday sound? It said, she says, I have an opening around four. And how long is your hair? The first red flag I should have had is that she used the wrong your. But that's a whole nother conversation. But anyway, she said, how long is your hair? I said, my locks are shoulder length, and that will work. Mind you, I keep reiterating locks. So at this point, even if my first message didn't indicate that I had locks, that one should have did it. I said, my locks are shoulder length, and that will work. I said, do I need to send a deposit to secure my spot? Because y'all know how the girlies like to tussle with the deposit. So I'm like, okay, I'm deposit ready. Like, if you want me to give you a deposit, you know, to secure my spot, I can surely do that. Now, the holiday special she had listed um, is, so she had th she had, uh, she had a bundles included. So she either had, you can either get a sew-in, I think for $200, and um, I don't remember if it said a closure or a frontal sew-in, whatever. Um, but she also had a bundle deal where you could get the bundles and the sew-in for 400. So I'm like, wow, that's that's pretty good. I don't have any hair in hand, so that's good. And you know, of course, it goes up as you get like long lengths or whatever. So yeah, um, and it seems like she sells hair to all that. So she was like, yeah, the deposit is 100. I can do Zell. And she said, you want a closure or frontal sewing? How long? The bundle deals comes. The bundle deals comes with three bundles and a closure or frontal and depending on the length, four bundles. Um, I said, I want a closure because with a frontal, it's gonna be harder for the lay. I was like, I want a closure. Then I said, I wanted the 24 inch bundle deal. And she said, okay. So, this is where stuff got ridiculous. I asked the, that client, come blow dry properly before your appointment, please. If you need your hair blow dry, let me know beforehand, it's extra fit. What hair am I gonna blow dry? This, you want me to blow dry my locks? 
a couple of things went through my head, y'all. I said, maybe this is an automated message. Didn't know that was a feature on Facebook, on Instagram. Maybe this is an automated message. Or maybe this is an automated message. Maybe she copy and paste it, she used to send in it. First of all, I don't like that blow dry policy. Um, but I learned from some of my, somebody who I know who do hair that a lot of these girls do that because they're not qualified to wash your hair. But back in the day, that didn't matter, baby. That didn't matter. That's dirty. Like, not washing your client's hair is dirty. I don't care what nobody says. It's dirty, dusty. You can't be charging. And I'm sorry, you can't be charging nobody that much for sewing if you're gonna, if I'm gonna do half the work. All you're doing is braiding and putting the weave in. Like, for all that, I could have had my cousin Pookie do it. Like, come on now. So, um, I said, I have locks? Question mark. Did you mean to send that to me? She was like, oh, I don't really do sewings on locks like that. I charge an extra $300 for that. And then she proceeds to send herself. Like, I'm ready to send her a $100 deposit. For I'm a so, so you think I'm ready to pay almost $700 for sewing out your house? And even if it wasn't out your house, an extra $300 fee, she has to be joking. I'm thinking maybe she made a mistake. Maybe she meant 30. But I didn't even ask. I didn't care enough to ask. I didn't care enough to ask. Because I said, yeah, no thank you. I said, I'm, pay I'm not paying. Oh, I did say I'm paying that much for sewing, but I'm gonna say I'm not. I'm not paying that much for sewing. I said that from the beginning. I had locks, but thanks anyway. She said, it take longer to do locks. That's why. I can take off $50. And that's, that's when I knew she meant 300 because she said she's gonna take off $50. I can take off $50 and take off the squeeze in fee too. Let's get this straight. What, what's squeezing? Where you squeezing me in, baby? Because I didn't ask you to squeeze me no, no the fuck way in. I said, do you have openings next week? Not, do you have a squeeze in? Mind you, a lot of these new age hairstylists, they do be having squeeze and fees and stuff like that. But that's typically if you're doing it last minute. If I say, oh, I need you to do my hair tomorrow. And they like, okay, I'm going to squeeze you in in the morning. At like 4 o'clock in the morning before the rest of my clients. That's a squeeze in. A squeeze in is not, I have an opening. Because I have an opening means that you were already working. You just had a blank spot and put me in there. A squeeze in, a squeeze in, baby, it's a week in advance. I don't, I don't know what you mean a squeeze in. Where are we squeezing in? Let me know. I actually, you're not squeezing me, no the fuck in, because I'm not paying. So, I said, I said it just like that squeezing fee. I said, how is this considered a squeezing? I said, I'm good. I said, again, I'm good. Mind you, first time I said, I'm good. I said, I'm good. I said, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. And she proceeds to say, anything booked less than two weeks in advance is a squeezing. That's how I run things. If you have a problem, you don't have to book. I'll tell you something. Most people in the comments going to be like, oh, I don't went on. Listen, one thing I know about these um, big headed stylists and, and big headed uh, nail techs, I don't, I'm not, I'm not having this conversation because somebody blew your head up. Yes, she does good work, but somebody blew your head up to think. Like, I, people need to have a conversation. There needs to be a meeting, a collective meeting of people who do cosmetology work. Or honestly, the idea that anybody can start a business without having any customer service skills or any customer. If I have a conversation with a big brand and I say I have a problem, no matter how furious I get, they're gonna handle it professionally. Whether they professionally cuss me out, you get that's anywhere in the business world. Bitch, I don't. If you don't like it, you don't gotta book. I wasn't gonna book. I said that. And then after that, she unsent her next message because her next message basically was like you're on my page asking for my services blah, blah, blah. she probably realized like went on my page and realized that i had a father and i could have exposed her but she un you know how people can unsend it but i saw like the notification in my thing and i saw she unsend unsended it because i said unsended it she said she got me talking like her she unsent it she was like you're paying basically something along the lines of i wish i would have got it on the screenshot you're paying for my you you're in my dms asking for my services point blank period if none of my if you got a problem with my policies you can go ahead i don't need your sir i mean i don't need your basically on some ones i got enough customers girl you not about to have no damn customers charging people these crazy like she do a good job but it's not like she not urgent tail out here you're not out here melting lace to the point where somebody gonna come up and be like what lace on camera, they might say what well, least. I just, I just, I just want to know where these stylists and stuff get the audacity. You gotta come with your hair washed, blow dried, pre braided. What they did? If they did this for niggas, I, I wish men, you know, if they treated men this way, it would have been a stop to it. 
If they told men you gotta come to the barber shop with your hair pre-lined up, these styles are gonna stand a chance. You know why? Because one thing about men, they go to war for it. And people actually wanna listen to them. We live in this misogynistic ass world. We forced to deal with these big headed ass stylists who think their unlicensed asses can charge this much. You think I'm about uh, you think I'm about to pay an unlicensed heifer outside the house? I understand when you go to a salon when they pay when you have to pay a lot because these days they have increased um, rental um, fees, so you got to pay for your studio space. They've increased the commission that the shop the shop takes commission from your um, like all that stuff, all of that, all of that. But when you doing shit out your house, the only thing that I'm paying you for is your service and the products that you use, and if you're including hair, the hair. Why you ain't washing my head? Why you dirty ass doing my head? You don't know, you're trusting me. I didn't go to cosmetology school. I don't care what nobody says. The average person cannot wash their hair right. You need to get in there. Like you need to be in there. Like back at the roots. Inside my upcoming roots. Like back in there with the ancestors making sure that you get all the dirt out of my head before you use your tools on me. And which means the bitches that you used your tools on before and I know you ain't disinfected. I know you ain't, I know you ain't disinfecting tools. Like, I, I cannot believe this. I just had the rant to say, someone needs to humble these hairstylists. And this is why so many people are learning to do their own nails, so many people are learning to do their own makeup, so many people are learning to do their own hair. And for me, I'm sorry, regardless of what I learned, I need somebody else to do it, because that's a lot of work. I mean, I, yeah. But I commend everybody learning to do these services they sell, because it is so hard to find somebody who is going to properly do your hair, not overcharge you to do your hair. Actually take care of your hair because we're not going to get into that. Back in the day, a trim was included. It would be like, baby, I know you just came here for a silk press, but you need an inch trim. Let me go and trim them off. And you ain't had to worry about it being extra. It was just part of the deal. Yeah, come on, go, 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 go sit in a bowl. Oh, I, I don't want to get my hair washed. Then you ain't getting your hair done. That's dirty. I just wanted to sew in. I just wanted some inches. Is that too much to ask? I guess I'll still be on the lookout. Cause it's, I mean, every time I come across somebody who can do locks on hair, they in like Houston or North Carolina. Like, I need you to be here. But looks like I might have to travel for a nice sewing. I might, I might, because that right there did something for me. I didn't even say my intro, but bye y'all. Do your own hair. Figure it out, get locks. I don't know, but figure it out yourself because these, these holes ain't worth it.